What up everybody, it's your boy NBM back again like I never left. But every now and then, your boy gonna be giving away free presets. And today, this one is a banger. I got a good one. It's actually two presets. I believe it's a, um, it's three vocal presets. They are trap presets, but I believe you can use these presets on anything. Cause one of them is like a vintage rap preset, but you can use it on R&B. All you gotta do is just pop it on there, man, do your thing. To those of you been asking, hey, how do I install these presets? Man, y'all not looking at the video. You gotta watch the video all the way through, man. That'll show your boy support and love. You know what I mean? That's all I ask for is just watch the video through. That way you can understand on how to, that way you can understand on how to use this preset, how to place it. Damn, I'm sweating and shit. Hold on, man. Yo, so make sure you watch this video all the way through to understand how to install this preset. It's really simple and easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to place it in the bus track. I'm gonna show you how to place it also on the track. Presets include two distortion presets and you can use these for like your talking tracks. So, hey, oh, all that old crazy stuff. You can throw that straight on there. It's Waves, it's a Waves vocal preset. And for those who don't have Waves, man, I looked out for y'all too. I actually did a stock uh, plug-in preset, which is pretty dope too. I did the stock distortion and the wave distortion. Man, so, Everything else you can pretty much learn on your own and find on your own. So you can use your own reverb, you can use your own delay. But if you need some help with that, I'll show you the settings that I use for my delay and my reverb, you know what I'm saying? Pretty easy. But before we dive off into this tutorial, you already know what we gotta do, man. We gotta roll that intro. Mm. Let's get it cracking. So, the first one I'm gonna use is the NBM 2020 Trap preset. This is one I'm giving you guys. And then over here, um, let's change this to the NBM Hype preset. And this is also for the wave um, distortion. I use the J37. And just turned the distortion up on it a little bit. The I mean, I turned the saturation up on it a little bit. Um, I kept it at a uh, 15. Um, I didn't really change nothing in here. I just left it at that. I just turned it up to use the uh, saturation. You know, pumping the saturation sometimes give you quite a little bit of distortion. So I use that. I use the tape delay, which is um, the tape delay is actually through um, Logic. So. You guys can actually use that. You don't have to worry about that. And then I use the Emo Q by Waves. So it's only one plug-in that's by Logic on this one. You can change it to the H delay if you want to. But um, that's what I did. I used the, uh, I used, I rolled it off to give it like a little telephone effect also to add to the distortion. And then over here, I used the, uh, the F F6 RTA stereo. I dug out some frequencies for you guys, so you don't really have to do much. But if your vocals need to be rolled off a little more, you can. But actually, I got this rolled off at 100. But you can push it up a little more if your vocals sit around 125 or 200. So you can definitely push it up a little bit for you, you know, especially when I've seen the women. Like, sometimes I see their vocals sitting in that area because some of these women don't have any bass in their voice. So it ain't really much to roll off sometimes. And then I did some cuts, you know, around 200, around 350 and 500, you know, to kind of get rid of some of the muddiness, some of the, the you know, kind of, um, the, it sound like it sounds hollow, you know, it removes all that. It just removes bad frequencies that you don't need in your vocals that can help you, especially if you don't have a treated room. And um, let's see what else I use. I use the SSL channel, you know, to add a little bit of uh, cleanness to your voice. Like I said, if you don't have a treated room, this will definitely help you out. And then for the um, vocal, I use the uh, CLA-76 as far as the compression go. Full-time release, a little bit of attack. Got you at 4 to 1 on the ratio. Everything off, you're using a bluey, which is dope. But like I said, all these can be changed if you need to change the settings, anything like that. If you need to change them, you can. Um... Like if it's um if it's too squashed for you or if it's too much compression, you know, you can I usually use the input. You can kind of bring the input down a little bit or, you know, if it's too much for you or if the, if the volume is a little too high or whatever. But I use the CLA 76. I use the DS about waves to kind of, you know, knock out some of those bad syllables. I mean, yeah. And then um 
you can you can actually move this. Like I said, with this, you want to hit it around. You want the tension to be like around negative uh, negative six. Around in here, I like it, but anything to twelve and down is pretty much tapping your vocals out to me. You, you know, you have that like Mike Tyson sound, and you know, no diss to Mike. You know what I'm saying? You had that. You know, you had that kind of funny little squash sound going on. And then I gave it a little bit of limiter to kind of push it a little bit. I put it to negative 2.0. You know, I got the uh, out ceiling down to uh, negative 0.1. Not too much there. Just a little bit to add to the vocals just to push the clarity a little bit. And um, let's play it back, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you got ozone, you can use ozone. I just use this, you know, to um, kind of handle the true peaks. You know, kind of handle the uh, peaking of the volume. Most people see it and get nervous when they see a little bit of red. But like I said, with that, you know, you just want to have a level meter on your song. And um, most of the times when I'm recording to a two-track beat, like I said, I like to, like I like to have my um, volume of my track around negative 12 dB. Like around here is where I want my two-track to be, so I can actually get my vocals to compete with the uh, volume of the beat, and you know, I don't have to do too much. And then also I like to give myself a little bit more headroom for a master and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys that when I'm actually doing the master for um, the stock plug in master that I'm going to give you guys. Um, hopefully I can drop that one this week too. Um, let's see. So let's close that out. But like I said, if you don't have um, waves, you know, um, you don't have waves or nothing like that, I believe. Logic has uh, something for True Peak. I'm not sure, but I actually use Ozone. My bad. If you don't have Ozone, you can use the one by Waves, the L1 Plus Ultra Maximizer. I want to help you guys out if you don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you definitely just want to control the peaks of your song so you don't be nervous when you're seeing that red. And um, let's play the track back, and then you guys are here. The first preset I'm giving you, and then I'm going to go through these presets so you can see it. It's actually three. I actually gave you guys one by um, Omni Shep, I believe. Check it out. Living my life is like right now. Niggas enjoying their lifestyle. The way you be moving is quite wild. The change will come, but it's not now. Fuck all you people who really hate it. Talk all the shit, but you never made it. Riding the bleachers, you sat and waited. Fuck all this talking, I gotta take it. Chasing my dream is just in my nature. Why you still hating? I'm chasing paper. A nigga be mixing, but killer first. And shooting my videos, make it worse. You not on my level, I leveled up. He got through this game without getting stuck. It take like a bomb when I'm blowing up. Sit down on the beat when I'm going up. I hear what you saying, don't say enough. And prayers to people who live. Rough. Fight for your dreams, don't be giving up They want you to quit so they laugh it up I've been on a mission just trying to live Go for the coin, gotta feed the kids Cause life is as dark as the way it is You gotta get tested to beat the quiz Yeah. And then what you can also do too Is um Like I said, you can use a reverb from um Logic You can use one of the stock plugins And then what I do is I actually turn the wet up all the way Um you know, find a pre-delay of your song, find the timing of your pre-delay, which you can with the uh, milliseconds I showed you in a reverb tutorial. Um, and then a low cut 500, high cut around 4,600 hertz. And then even with that, I still add a channel EQ and roll off 500 hertz. <clears throat> with this band right here, I rolled off about 500 hertz. So you guys can use that, you know, kind of knock out some of the bass in the uh, reverb. And, um... And then with the delay, I just use the uh, stereo delay that Logic has. I actually um, used it. I, I synced it to the tempo, used a quarter note, um, the low cut 240, 5,000 5, hertz on a high, low cut 240 on this one, same thing here. Feedback 35, I really didn't turn the feedback up too much. And then, um, yeah, like I said, you guys can copy these settings, you know what I'm saying? You can actually use these settings in a song of yours if you have logic stock plugins i mean if you only have logic stock plugins you can actually use this cool and you know that was the only thing and then with with the um with this preset with the wave presets i always add an api to the main vocal you know what i'm saying because i didn't really add that much um compress i mean i didn't add that much eqing in here so i definitely added i made you know i made it up right here with the api i play it back Living my life is like right now. Niggas enjoying their lifestyle. The way we be moving is quite wild. The change will come, but it's not now. Fuck all you people who really hate it. Talk all the shit, but you never made it.
like I said, depending on what kind of mic you got, you might have a mic that already sound like it got a lot of EQ, a lot of EQ in it, a lot of high end on it. And um, you may not want to add this. You can just to give it a little clarity to kind of bring your vocals up a little bit. And um, yeah, man, which is, you know, which is pretty dope. So I'm going to turn that off. And then the next preset I'm going to use is the Logic Stock preset, which is the... Go down here to user channel strip settings, which will be NBM trap stock preset. Like I said, this is another one I'm giving you guys. Let's click on that. And this is what we got right here. As you can see, I did the same thing with the bands here with the um, with the channel EQ, which allows me to use a lot more bands to do a lot of cutting with this. This and then this preset is actually dope, man. And I use the gate on here to eliminate some of the noise. Now, if you start to hearing your vocals to where it starts sounding a little squash. You can go to the gate. Just take it to 50. You may not need much. Just take this to negative uh, 50 and you'll be fine. Don't mess with anything else. But for this song, I actually use negative 45. So just remember, if it sound too much, if it sound like too much gate and your voice starting to kind of fade away, just take it back to 50. And then I use two compressors on this one. I use two uh, VCA compressors on here, which... The VCA compressors is pretty much the compressors I use on here to um, mix vocals with if I do use anything stock. You know, I like the vintage and the vintage VCA, which is dope. And sometimes I use the Platinum Digital. Don't get me wrong. A lot of these uh, a lot of these plugins from uh, from Logic is pretty dope. Like, to be honest with you, if I didn't have waves or anything like that, I'd still be dominant with, with just the stock stuff that they give me. So this is the reason why I'm giving you guys this preset. So now with this one. It's the uh, hype track. Now I'm gonna take it. This is the actual. This is the actual stock uh, distortion that I use for you guys. That's pretty dope. And like I said over here, I got the DS and another limiter to uh, make up for whatever we lose. And then what you want to do is same thing here. I wrote off around um, 4:15 to kind of give it a little radio effect. I use the FX. I use the uh, fat F fat FX. Um, now, if it's too much, if it's too much for you, if it's too loud, you can actually go over here to the soft limiting and just turn it down a little bit. And um, everything else is pretty cool dialed in. Like I said, you can turn that down or you can just turn the volume down right here. So let's check this one out. Living my life is like right now. Niggas enjoying their lifestyle. The way we be moving is quite wild. The change will come, but it's not now. Fuck all you people who really hate me. Talked all the shit, but you never made it. Riding the bleachers, you sat and waited. Fuck all this talking, I gotta take it. Chasing my dream is just in my nature. Why you still hating? I'm chasing paper. A nigga be mixing, but kill it first. And shooting my videos, make it worse. You're not on my level, I leveled up. And got through this game without getting stuck. And take like a bum when I'm blowing up. Sit down on the beat when I'm going up. I hear what you're saying, don't say enough. And prayers to people who living rough. Fight for your dreams, don't be giving up. They want you to quit, so they laugh it up. I've been on a mission, just trying to live. Go for the coin, gotta feed the kids. Cause life is just dark as the way it is. You gotta get tested to beat the quiz. Yeah. Like I said, man, this is a stock preset. It's dope. You know what I mean? Like this stuff, you you don't have to pay for it. It's free. These this, this is just me saying thank you to you guys for, you know, helping me out, man. Always shooting me dope comments, man. Talking to me in IG. You know what I mean? I'm a conversational guy, so I like talking. You know what I mean? And um, just pretty much saying thank you, man. You know what I mean? And I'll be doing this a lot. So, like I said, I got the uh, mastering preset coming up soon, too. And when I say soon, it's like maybe in a few days this week coming. And, um... Yeah, this is the uh, this is the NBM trap stock preset. So these are the stock ones that you can use, and then you can actually leave these the way it is. Now with the stock, I actually use the two BQ for this one, which kind of looked like the Pogue Tech. So I used this one, and all I did with this was I boost the high frequency up to uh, frequency up to twelve uh, kilohertz, and then I just uh, hit the high boost a little bit up to uh, three. So let's play it back one more time with that. Let's go here. Living my life is like right now. Niggas enjoying their lifestyle. The way we be moving is quite wild. The change gon' come, but it's not now. Fuck all you people who really hate it. Talked all this shit, but you never made it. Riding the bleachers, you sat and waited. Fuck all this talking, I gotta take it. Chasing my dream is just in my nature. Why you still hating? I'm chasing paper. A nigga be mixing, but kill it first. And shooting my videos, make it worse. You not on my level, I leveled up. And got through this game without getting stuck. It tick like a bum when I'm blowing up. Sit down on the beat when I'm going up. I hear what you saying, don't say enough. And all right, cool. So like I said, like I said, if you got a mic that requires a little bit of EQ, just put it on your main vocal because I don't like the I don't like my EQ to sound the same on the both of these. So what I'll probably do is I'll drag this over and take these probably to about 
uh, one. And these will probably be one. Uh, it won't be three. These will be one. One or two, you know what I mean? I like my lead to stand over my 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 double, I mean, over my, um, over my ad-lib tracks. So, yeah. And that's the second, this is the second, uh, this is the second uh, preset that I'm giving you guys. Man, now here's the third one. The third one is the Omni Shep, I believe. Shep, I have how however you say his name, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Um, so I'm gonna go right here. And this one's gonna be called NBM Vintage uh Vintage Trap Preset. And the good thing about this, man, is you can actually use these presets to your liking. You can actually, you know, leave the distortion, whichever distortion you like the best, you can leave it on there and use this, you know, use the vocal presets that you want to use. So, um, I did the CLA mix. I mean, my bad, not the Omni Shep. I did the CLA mix hub. And, um, with this one, I gave it a squat. I gave it a big squash with the compression. I hit it. I hit the threshold around 20, just turned the ratio up a little bit to dial it in. But if it's too much for you, you don't have to mess with this. Just dial it back with the ratio to your liking and you know what I mean? And the release to your liking. And, um, Pretty much with this, I did the same thing with the um, with the um, gate. I hit the range around 40. I hit the threshold around 20. So, you know, that had to kind of clean up some of the noise in the room. I added some EQ with this one. I added a little bit of mic preamp to it to kind of give it a little clarity, a little boost. I added some line to it. And um, I did that with that. And then also I gave it a little limiter. I gave it a little boost, the same, you know, the same as the others. You can actually use that. This is the uh, L1 limiter off of uh, Waves. And then with the SSL EQ, I kind of gave it a little bit of high frequency with this one. And um, cleaned up the vocals a little bit for you. So, yeah, let's let's play it back, man, so you guys can check it out. And then we can take it off of that. And then we can play it with the API 550. <laughs> Living my life is like right now Niggas enjoying their lifestyle The way we be moving is quite wild A change gon' come but it's not now Fuck all you people who really hate it Talked all this shit but you never made it Riding the bleachers you sat and waited Fuck all this talking I gotta take it Chasing my dream is just in my nature Why you still hating I'm chasing paper A nigga be mixing but kill it first And shooting my videos make it worse You not on my level I leveled up And got through this game without getting stuck And tick like a bum when I'm blowing up So dumb on the beat when I'm going up I hear what you saying don't say enough And prayers to people who living rough fight for your dreams don't be giving up they want you to quit so they laugh it up i've been on a mission just trying to live go for the coin gotta feed the kids because life is as dark as the way it is you gotta get tested to beat the quiz yeah now i really like that preset that preset is really dope to me man and i think you guys are like that one too that one i don't know y'all tell me which one y'all think is the cleanest which i like they all clean to me man you know what i'm saying some is gonna work different for different songs so depending on what you're doing, if you got an R&B song, like me personally, if you got an R&B song, I would definitely use this preset right here, which is dope, you know, and um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, in, uh, I'm going to be doing an R&B preset, like a real dope R&B preset, the stuff I use for R&B, uh, that'll be, you know, coming up soon too. And um, like I said, the API 550B, or you can go with the tube, you can switch it up, you can do what you want to do with it, you know what I'm saying? You can use these reverbs if you want. And um, like I said, you can use the settings I got. Now, this is what you need to know when you're using these presets. So that's why I tell people to watch these videos because they'll put the preset on and I watch these videos. Man, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. So what you need to do is, in order to get the same sound I'm getting, let's take this vocal, right? So we're going to turn all this off. Let's turn all this off. Let's silence this one. And then I'm going to actually hold Option and click this back to zero. This is what I'm recording my vocals. When I record my vocals, these are the levels you want to have when you record these vocals. So that way you get the same quality with these presets that I'm getting right now. With your microphone, doesn't matter what microphone you got. This is the main key. You definitely got to watch this video. That's why I tell people, watch these videos. You definitely want to have your levels. So when you record, so when you're recording, this is the level you want to have your vocal at. I'll play it dry. Living my life is like right now. Niggas enjoying their lifestyle. The way we be moving is quite wild. A change gonna come, but it's not now. Fuck all you people who really hate it. Talked all this shit, but you never made it. Riding the bleachers, you sat and waited. Fuck all this talking, I gotta take it. Chasing my dream is just in my nature. Why you still hating? I'm chasing paper. A nigga. So as you can see, I started off at 12 and then it hit the negative. It hit the negative 7.8. So between 12 and 7 is where you want to have your vocal when you're recording. 
this is where you want to have it. You do not want it bleeding in the red. You can have it tapping the yellow a little bit. But red is a definitely no because because you're gonna start getting distortion from the volume I did with the with the compression and stuff like that. So I did the compression compared to how my volume is on my verse. So definitely this is a main factor. This is something that you need to know. You got to have your vocals around negative 12 dB to negative 7.8. That's where you want your vocals. So when you're recording, all you gotta do is just take your little, you know, your little button, you know, your little knob to turn your vocals up when you're recording, turn it down some, and just, you know, do a check one, check two, but do it to do it the way you're gonna rap on a microphone so that you have this level. And that's what that's what all of these presets. So if you want these presets to work, you want it to be around negative 12 to negative 7.8. <laughs> negative, yeah, negative 7.8. Now, Another thing I'm going to show you is how to install these presets. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right. Hold on. I got to go to my hard drive, man. I, my desktop junkie, dog. So what you want to do is you want to go to music. First of all, let me, let me save these presets to the desktop first because that's where I know you guys are going to be putting them. So I'll go here. Let's see. Um actually no so say for instance if if you download the preset and you download them to your desktop this is what you're going to do you're going to go to music audio music apps channel strip settings now in here you got track and you got bus now the distortion tracks just the distortion tracks that's it alone you're going to put in the track folder this is where you're going to put the distortion tracks as you can see, NBM stock distortion, and then the other one is, uh, where is it at? Um, it's in here, man. NBM height preset. So those two presets, you're going to go to track. So let me show you again. Okay, once you open up your hard drive, you're going to go to music. You're gonna, now, if you don't have these in your, in your sidebar, just go right here to Finder, go to Preferences. And in here, you can click everything in here, and that'll give you everything over here. So you'll have movies, music, pictures, and you'll have your actual desktop up here, your hard drive or whatever. And remember, that's your sidebar. So go to preferences, click on sidebar, and then you want to you want to tap all these. So you can have these over here so you can see it. Like I said, open up your hard drive, go to music, audio music apps, channel strip settings. Now, like I said, the distortion tracks, the distortion presets, put them in tracks. Boom. And then for the actual presets, you're going to go to bus. You're going to put them in bus. This is where you're going to put the trap presets at. As you can see, that's where they're at right now. Now, if you don't know how to create a bus, I got a tutorial on that, but I'll show you real quick. So what you, all you got to do is to get this bus right here, this bus is a, a channel to where you're going to add your effects to to apply to your vocals. You know what I'm saying? This is where you're going to add your effects to apply your vocals. Um, you, you're going to add this effect to apply to your vocals. You know, man, you know what I'm saying? And then, so what you want to do is all of your tracks that you have. So say like, for instance, you got all these tracks, right? These are your tracks. These are your vocal tracks. All you want to do is you can click, you can click one, hold shift, go to the last one. And then right here where it say, this is going to say stereo output. It's not going to say uh, bus one. It's going to say stereo output. So hold that down, go to bus and then create bus one bam and then this is going to come up you're going to have a bus channel right here to lay your effects on and then all you got to do is go up to settings go into settings and then click on user channel strip settings and then you'll see your presets in here and you can just click on those presets and that's how you install these presets it's that easy man like i said so watch this video and if you got to rewind it rewind it again so you get it so you understand so whenever i drop these presets you guys can just dump them straight inside of your folders and you'll be ready to go and remember, pay attention to what the levels is of these presets when I tell you so you'll know. Even with mastering, when I show you when I show you guys this, the next one, I'll show you the levels of the mastering and what they should be. Because you should have a lot of headroom to, you know, boost a little bass if you need to, boost a little bit of highs if you need to, depending on if your track needs that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. And those are the presets I'm giving you. Hey, man, I appreciate you guys for watching, tapping in with your boy. And I'm going to head back over to it. Like I said simple easy to use dope presets man a lot of presets out there right now you know you got to pay for them and you know they work decent they cool but these right here are really going to help you like i said i'm teaching you how what your volume should be 
you know, what your level should look like. To get this same exact sound, remember, you have to add a leveler to your music. That way you'll know the level of your music. Like if you're getting stage in your songs, just make sure that, you know, your volume is around negative 12 to negative 8.7, I believe. And if you got a song you want me to listen to, man, just email it to me at mixbymalachi at gmail.com. And, and Instagram is at mixbymalachi. So if you got any questions then, I'm all game. Just ask me and I got you, man. It's your boy, NBM. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you enjoy these presets and this content. Hit that like button. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about it. And man, it's all love, man. It's your boy, NBM. Y'all take care, man, and be safe out there.